Let me put it on camera two. <coughs> Sorry. Good morning and welcome to Gary Rick Services, HVAC Journeyman School. Today we're doing a quiz on yesterday's water, evaporative cooling, and introduction to refrigeration. Tomorrow we will be doing a review on chapter one out of the refrigeration charging and service procedures for air conditioning. Let's so right read chapter one, get your books, have to get you a book ordered. Um, that's what's happening. Two. Go white on camera two. That's your Kahoot stuff. Will you run the Kahoot and read the questions from over there and I will run the cameras. Second. So, Steph, introduce yourself. What? I'm introduce Stephanie. Steph to the camera. Chicka chicka boom. What's the <laughs> what was the code on it? Uh, you can just take a picture of the. Cute oh, that's the code right there. The nine one four five seven zero. Oh man, I'm imagining that. Chicka Chicka Boom is Greg. <laughs> I'm thinking that old boy with Greg. Sean's got it. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> <laughs> they call him in the streets. Sean's <laughs> <laughs> a secret gangster. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, just remember, guys, this is on speed and right answers, okay? It's on drugs. It shouldn't be speed if you have trick answers. Push step up into the corner there. Why does water stick together? It's sticky. Oxygen lactoses, hydrogen bonds, or the positive charges in the oxygen cause them to bond. Like a magnet, water is blank with a positive and negative charge. Magnetic, polar, hydronic, or molecular. What? It says like a magnet. Yeah, like a magnet. <laughs> I swear these are the opposite of what you told us yesterday. What is it called when molecules stay close to each other? Cohesive, in love, close, or adhesive? Cohesive. In the H2O molecule, what charge does oxygen have? Positive, negative, supersonic, or conductive? Negative. In the H2 mo uh, H2O molecule, what charge does hydrogen have? Positive, negative, supersonic, or conductive? Positive. What is it called when water forms bonds with other surfaces? Cohesion, saturation, adhesion, or dilution? Adhesion. I know specifically he's going to remember that one. Solar Knights moving on. Yeah. Hydrogen bonds are weak blank bonds between molecules. 
cohesion, saturation, adhesion, or electrostatic. Electrostatic. Yeah, he did. Yeah, go through that video. He didn't even say that word. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. I what did is right out of the what is the kinetic <laughs> energy in the vapor state? Low, high, medium, explosive. High explosive synonymous. High explosive. Pretty close. See, everyone picked low last time. It was wrong. I thought that was for ice. No, it said so ice. Yeah, it's yeah. like, uh -oh. We all got it right in question. It's wrong. Just backwards. Hi. So high. <laughs> what happens when the water molecules are compacted close? They disco dance. They stay stagnant. Let off chemical fumes or they bounce around and bump into each other. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I did say that too because my ankles had a sharp pain. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> bounce around and bump into each other. Ouch. <laughs> Ooh, Sean's way close. Catching up to second. What temperature is average, the average blank of the drop of water mass? Weight, size, kinetic energy, or molecular compound? Kinetic energy. Damn, that's what I thought you said it was the average mass. The average weight. Yesterday. Average blank of the drop of mass. The average weight was what he said yesterday. The state in which opposing forces are influenced or balanced is called togetherness. Kinetic energy. Absolute or equilibrium. Equilibrium. H2O molecules on the surface of the water have blank kinetic energy than the molecules below. Higher, lower, hotter, the same. Why does temperature, water temperature drop? Kinetic energy of the mass is increasing. Molecules with the highest kinetic energy break free. The coherent value of the molecules reduced or the molecules with the lowest energy break free. Molecules with the highest kinetic energy break free. What instrument measures wet bulb? This is when I start winning. Hygrometer, humidifier, psychrometer, thermometer. And this is where I start losing. Psychrometer. What is wet bulb temperature? The warming effect of water, the hum humidity in the air, condensation, or the cooling effect of water evaporating? The cooling effect of water evaporating. How can you measure wet bulb? By feeling it with your hands. A humidistat. A thermometer with a wet sock over the tip with ambient air moving across or a shotgun. Thermometer with a wet sock over the top. When does natural evaporation stop? When the outdoor temperature is over 90 degrees, when the dry bulb temperature equals the wet bulb temperature, when the wet bulb temperature is higher than the dry bulb temperature, or when the wet bulb and dry bulb temperature are at least 20 degrees in difference. When the dry bulb temperature equals the wet bulb temperature. Oh, Solar Knight is taking the lead. What is superheating? Heating a liquid under pressure higher than its boiling point, the conversion of liquid to a vapor, 
liquid existing below its normal boiling point or the acidity in the water. Heating a liquid under pressure higher than its boiling point. What is subcooling? A restriction that causes the kinetic energy to increase. The act of water changing to ice. Hydronic. A liquid existing at a temperature below its boiling point. Correct. Thinking of a pot of boiling water with a glass lid on top. In refrigeration, what do we compare the pan to? The pan is the condenser. The pan is the line set. The pan is the evaporator or the pan is the compressor. The pan is the evaporator, heating up, heating up beyond boiling point and evaporating. Sean's catching up. What are the three states of water? Gas plasma liquid, solid plasma liquid, solid gas plasma, or solid liquid gas. Better have got that one right. What is ODP? Yeah, you know me. Operating department person, ozone depletion program, ozone depletion potential, ozone distribution practitioner. <laughs> ozone depletion potential. <laughs> what does GWP stand for? Global warming. Warning potential, global warming potential, gigantic war piece, or geothermal warming practices? <laughs> global warming potential. What refrigerant is H2O? Water. R420, R718, you got it, R718. What is the ash rate classification of water? B2, A1, A2, C3PO. A1. My accidental misclick got me the right answer. A1, my favorite steak sauce. What does the ash rate classification chart refer to? Refrigeration type, toxicity, and flame propagation, molecular structure, or atomic weight? Toxicity and flame propagation. Go. Oh, third place, Sean. Sean. Damn it. Sean was in third. Second, Mike, Mike 2.0. Two. Who won? Was it Shadow Knight? Yeah, it was Solar Mikey. Solar Knight. <laughs> Mikey won. <laughs> All right, Stephanie. <laughs> Solar Knight. Great it's job on dragon. that. Solar Knight. Let's okay, take a look at. Yes. Yes. It's, just, it's just the mic buff. Yeah. Good job. Next here. 22 out of 26. Although, I do, one of them I got wrong. I thought you did specifically say the temperature was based off the mass in the water. You did say Yeah, that's what that's you said what yesterday. It's like no. I'm yeah, pretty yeah, sure I did. didn't. You did. Yeah. I, I know you did. Cause I well, asked we can it. review the video. Oh. Let's uh, write that question down and I'll check it. Well, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm gonna write it down. Thank God. For Einstein, yeah, question 10. Scrolling. Or 20% of only one out of five of us got it right. That one right there? Yeah, we all said water. Water temperature is the average blank sense. of the drop's water mass. Oh, you guys. I did say kinetic energy like four times. You said mass yesterday. You said it was the weight. I was like, the only time you talked about weight. Oh, rewatch the video, dude. You let's got pull, a link. Let's pull it up. Where's the link? I can probably pull it up. Just pull up your slide. Oh yeah, I can just pull up the slides. That's why You're I was right, to Steph. To keep the slides on the Stephanie, <coughs> Stephanie did put the slides on the screen as a picture in picture. Hey, 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 hey! Look, I can just do it right here. Just turn that down, Mikey Mike. Let's go through the slide here. <laughs> Water, what is it? Two hydrogens, one oxygen. One sextillion, blah, blah, blah. Hydrogen bonds. Oh, there it is. Hydrogen bonds is a weak electrostatic bond. That was one you guys were like, oh, nay, 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 nay. Sorry. 
So this is how you should be doing your stream. We do. We do it picture in picture. This you know, a tiny little picture of you, and a big one of the actual. No, we're doing we're doing the experiments in front here. They got to see the experience experiments, Craig. This is where the information. You can put it on your big TV and look right at it. I did it last night. I saw it. Drop up the waters, mass. This is both. That's right. What our temperature is? Average kinetic energy of the drop of the waters mass. There it is, right there. The yeah. size of the water is going to affect the kinetic energy. Let's go too. back to the question. So accurate. No. Oh. I want to hear what he said, though, because the Water the temperature is the average blank of the drop of the water's mass. Do you feel, do you feel like I... still I, feel wronged. I feel no, you're you not. said it. You know how, still you, waiting, I think. how you'll read something and then you say a totally different word? Okay, well, you know what? Not everybody's right all the time, and you guys weren't right on that question, so don't feel bad. Because <laughs> you were wrong in how you worded it. Oh, my goodness. Maybe, maybe not. But the only person who got it right was the guy who wasn't here. I feel like there was a miscommunication somewhere. I feel like this is just straight up <laughs> average high school stuff. You probably learned it three or four times in it your was lives. A decade ago. Okay, well, relax. All right, so. It was like three weeks ago. Like a magnet, a water <laughs> is blank with positive and negative charge. Polar. Why does water stick together? It's sticky, oxygen lactose, hydrogen bonds. The positive charges in the oxygen ca cause them to bond. Hydrogen bonds. You know, that's the only part of the test that we all do well on is not what was covered in the video. I like it when you guys try to blame everybody but yourselves. You could have watched the video yesterday and you could watch it today ah, again or tonight. Two out of 26. I did pretty good. Okay. We'll just stop blaming me. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just saying on one question I felt like. I'm just asking wrong questions. All right. I'm just surprised I did as well as I did. Okay. So hydrogen bonds are weak electrostatic bonds. We just saw that in the slides. Keep the slides on the screen. Steph, how do I... Uh, oh, those were just the difficult questions. Everything yeah. else you guys did great on. So All right. First, like, you can view the full report. View full report. Since we had 76 correct as a team. 76 correct. First. That's pretty good. What did we get last time? We're 53. Yeah, and it didn't help that <laughs> we had another person playing. Failing. <laughs> that was failing I feel on like purpose. Any time yeah, that any of you guys want to make, take a shot at teaching here, you guys can. Stephanie is the one that Monday. made us do it twice. Starting Monday, I'm going to be gone. Tuesday, I'm going to be gone. Wednesday, I'm going to be gone. So, who wants to teach those days? Don't even point guy. at me. I don't know what Any I'm talking about. Any pickers? All right, then. Is it going to be on the internet? Yes. Yes. Oh. I can teach us how to make a volcano. Awesome. <laughs> volcano <laughs> is a chemical reaction. Right. All right, guys. Um, great job on the test. That's well right. played. I'll use that um, strategy to unfreeze my pipes this Let's way. take a look at uh, this here. Yeah. <laughs> they worked. We made a okay, so... Volcano. Chickaboom did 63%, Ghetto Man did 73%, Sean did 81%, Mike 2 did 81%, and Solar Knight did 85%. How do you get the same wow. questions right but different score? It's streaks. streaks Good job. Give you, like, All right, so first. Uh, we don't got a lot of time, so I'm just going to talk about this right here. This is the refrigeration cycle. Let me show you something. See, there's a compressor and a metering <clears throat> device in the refrigeration cycle. If we get rid of the compressor, uh, nothing. Moves. And we get rid of the metering device, and we connect these two lines right here. Nothing happens. And we put this into a pan with a lid on top of it. It's turning it into a swamp. And we put heat on the bottom, and ice cubes on top. I'm gonna draw a cube. He changed the compressor to flame. Interesting cube drawing strategy. 
I'm trying. All right. I put a bunch of ice cubes on top. What's happening inside that pan? We've got an evaporator where the water is boiling and removing heat. So here's where the heat is removed. And we got a lid. And that's where the water is condensing. And taking, turning the boiled vapor back into liquid. So here we've got vapor coming up. And here we got wa uh, liquid going down. Because the refrigerant water R718 is taking the heat. And the heat is going up in vapor. And the condenser or the lid is removing the heat and turning that refrigerant back into a liquid. Okay, this is exactly how air conditioners work. Well, not exactly, because there's a compressor to move the refrigerant around. So if we had a compressor there and a um, metering. metering device there, okay, now we have the compressor here and this is hot gas, okay, oh no, this is hot gas. Okay, hot gas is coming out of the compressor. It's going into the condenser. It's cooling down and turning into a liquid. Just like in our pan. It's going into the metering device and it's gonna start to expand here and start to boil. So it's boiling here. The metering device is a restriction. And that restriction is engineered for the size of the unit. Okay, so all of the air conditioners that you'll put in have an engineered metering device that's based off of the size of the evaporator, the size of the condenser, and the size of the compressor. So here it's boiling, and here we have um, a cold gas. Here we have a liquid, and I would say it's a warm liquid because it was a hot gas, like real damn hot. Here, burn your fingers off hot. Comes through the condenser, turns into a liquid, and then goes into the metering device. The metering device is just a small hole or an actual mechanical metering device that's allowing just enough refrigerant to get into this evaporator and boil completely off and turn into a cold gas and hit that compressor again. The compressor is not a pump, okay? It is a compressor. It's made for compressing gas only. So it compresses it from cold gas to hot gas. Mm -hmm. Well, that's just how the refrigerant is when it's coming into it. That's the state. And inside of the evaporator and inside of the condenser, the refrigerant is saturating. A spell but that's okay I don't have to be a good speller to be a great heating and air conditioning technician that's right okay so here it's coming through it's saturating Sean what does saturating mean it means it's taken on uh, more temperature than it can or as much temperature as it can handle yeah well it's changing state yeah. 
and it's changing that state to full equilibrium of that system. Remember that word equilibrium that we talked about yesterday? That's the equil equilibrium of that system. So it's going to um, condense down here and turn into a liquid and it's met its equilibrium and full saturation. Here it's going to boil off and turn into vapor and meet its full equilibrium of that side of the system. This system is broken in half. Okay, this is the indoor system, this is the outdoor system, okay? And two lines separate the two. Okay, I'm going to push the um, reverse button, and I'm going to draw a diagonal line right there. There you go. Pretty awesome, huh, Greg? How? This is the indoor system. Oh shit! I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reverse the die. I'm gonna push the reverse button again, sir. Again, yes, sir. <laughs> thank goodness Make for sure modern we, technology. Sure we install it this way next year. <laughs> there, you're right, Greg. Take the compressor out and put it inside. <laughs> okay, so this is the indoor unit here. Indoor. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> and this is the outdoor unit here. You're making me blush, Greg. Okay, so there you go. Greg's 100% right. It's easier to see it from back there than up here, okay? Further away. Further away. You know, you see the whole picture. X marks the spot. Okay, well, <laughs> we're not going to have that X there. I'm going to this treasure planet? smoke that X out. Okay. So um, here we have hot air entering the evaporator. And on this side, so we're blowing a fan across this evaporator. And on this side, we have cold air. It's cold. That's how we're cooling down the house, right? So it might be cold here, hot here, and cold there, and it might be um, hot here and cold there, refrigeration works like just opposite how you would imagine it to work. Because here we're boiling, but we're cooling the air. Right? And here we've got um, air from outside, ambient air, going through it. And that air is heating up, right? But cooling down our refrigerant. So here we are subcooling and here we are superheating. That's referring to the refrigerant state, not the air state. Okay? The refrigerant is superheating, which means boiling, right? What does, what does it mean? It means it's heating up under pressure to its boiling point. Now, the refrigerants all have different boiling points, but usually they're negative degrees Fahrenheit. So they're real damn cold. Okay, when they boil, they're real cold, not like water. Water boils at 212. Okay? But that is the basic refrigeration circuit, and that is how all refrigerant, all refrigeration systems are based on. Okay, well, refrigerants, refrigeration systems with a compressor. I guess I have to take that back. Refrigeration systems with a compressor, because you saw my refrigeration system yesterday with the pan, right? And that was an act of refrigeration. And this is a refrigeration system with a compressor. I want a refrigeration system with a compressor inside. Um, Steph, will you please go to my computer? Change the game. I've seen people put them like in the oh. attic. That way it would just go back to the uh, bullet factory. Yeah, right. There's an outdoor condenser inside there. Okay, the so there. Uh, next subject is continuation of refrigeration. Um, 
Again, we are going to be reviewing the refrigeration, charging, and service procedures for air conditioning. You know, your, your book. Um, written by Craig Migliaccio. I can I could not pronounce his name and you know that's the only way I can. So please read chapter 1. <clears throat> please take your books and read chapter 1. Because we'll be reviewing chapter 1. All right? And let's hit this right here for a couple of minutes. Still boom. The greatest man, the greatest heating and air conditioning technician. Winters, I'll have to explain that to you later, all right? Okay, and I say that that is a cut or a stop.